Whenever God gives you revelation, it's not to test you to see if you're worthy of it. He has given it to you because you are worthy of it. How you steward that level of his heart and that level of revelation depends on the next one. That's dependent on what you go on beyond that. But every time he shares a piece of himself to you, he gives you a revelation of his heart. He's saying, I, uh, we have come to this place in a relationship where I can share this with you. And he does trust you with it. <clears throat> and that should bring a, a level of rejoicing in and of itself when God shares his heart. What we often want to do is tell everyone about our revelation because we want us to look something we, you know what I mean? We're trying to create an image for ourselves. We don't realize that's what happens in the church today. With all the social media, with everything that we're, you know, we're trying to broadcast Jesus, what we're really trying to broadcast is us. I don't know how they almost turned the world upside down without the internet. But they did. And... A lot of times the temptation is today is to see how many likes you can get on Facebook or see how many followers you can get and all that stuff. And I want to talk to you about how, to, how the kingdom works. Um, um, I'm not against social media at all. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying that you don't let the spirit of the world overtake you and taint you. But the manifestation of the spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. Underline that. God has given you the manifestation of the Spirit for everyone around you, including you. <laughs> Say that good? Like, he doesn't expect you to be a dry well. He expects you to be an, un, an overflowing, my cup runneth over. That's, that's our David. Isn't it amazing how David just stepped into a new covenant 1,500 years early? the place that Paul preaches the longest. So they, it says he does not withhold anything from them. Any truth the Lord's given him, he has sat down for three years and has actually taught them face to face for years. And it's the only place on his journey he gets that long of a time period to actually teach. And yet his letter, his epistle back to him starts talking about that they would become grounded and rooted and founded on God's love. Why? Because if not, all the other stuff does not matter. All the truth does not matter if love is not what you're founded on and rooted in. Because I got news for you. Uh, the world can be a pretty cold place. What if you just got immersed in the love of God? Just got lovesick for him. That's part of like what prayer is supposed to be. Spending time, we're trying to spend time to get revelation. Oh, look. Any revelation God gives you, he's trying to reveal him. He's trying to reveal some aspect of him to you. And if you learn to capture it, 